Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rocky. Guess what? I just got bored today. <laughs> And I decided I wanted to share with you all of my handbags. I did a closet tour not too long ago, and it was kind of dark. It was pretty quick, quick-ish, um, because it's a really large closet, and I tried to get through it as quickly as possible. I thought, you know what, there are some interesting things in my closet that I should probably segment out and show to you guys. And the one thing that I wanted to share with you today is my handbag collection. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up was the fact that I finally reached 100 subscribers. Um, and as a celebration, I'm going to do a giveaway. So keep watching. I'm going to give details as I go through my um, show today and show you how you can win and what you can win. But I'm going to go ahead and get started and go through my um, handbag collection. I'm going to warn you that this is not the entire collection. I thought, okay, let me pick probably the top most interesting ones. Um, I left about 20 of them still in the closet. Um, I figured they were just kind of ordinary bags. Who cares? But to me, they're interesting. I wear them. I have fun wearing them all. Um, but I'm just going to show you the ones that are the most interesting. I'm going to start with the one that I'm actually wearing um, at the moment, the one that I wear every day. This one is a leather bag that I got from Madewell. I got it hot stamped with my initials. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a leather um, mini backpack purse that I got from um, Madewell. And um, I am absolutely loving this. I decided to go with this because I got as many handbags as I own. I honestly got tired of kind of having one on my shoulder or cross body and all that, kind of having to deal with that. And I want it to be hands-free. Even though cross body is hands-free, um, which is what I go to if I'm not wearing a backpack, but this is even better. Um, and it had a lot of space in it. You can see like the, the width of it and everything. Um, I put all kinds of random things in here and snacks. I love snacks. <laughs> Um, but this one by far is probably my favorite at the moment. I got a really, really cheap one just to see at first uh, from, you know, Amazon or something like that, just to see if I like the concept of having a backpack bag instead of a, a handbag. And I loved it, so I went ahead and just upgraded. I may even upgrade a little further. I am loving the um, Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. Um, it's a coated canvas. That's the only thing that's keeping me from buying it, really. It's really expensive. But the fact that it's coated canvas as opposed to leather gives me pause to pay, you know, paying that much money for a handbag that's not leather. I decided to group some of these to make the process a little quicker. I grouped them by either style or brand or sentiment, if that makes sense. The very first one I'm going to do is not a group, it's just one. It's my only, my only designer handbag, like high-end designer handbag. This one's a Ferragamo sort of a shoulder bag. Um, it's a Ferragamo bag. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's, it doesn't hold that much, but it's great for going partying or bringing it somewhere. It's orange. So you have to be careful with how you wear it or thoughtful about how you wear this one. You have to determine that it's going to be a, for a pop of color or a statement piece or it blend or it kind of match the whole aesthetic of the outfit. But you do have to be thoughtful when you wear this one. This one was a gift for, I don't even know what occasion, but my husband bought me these. My nicer things come from my husband. I don't have the guts or the heart to pull the trigger on buying more expensive items. So they usually come from um, my husband. So he's my sugar daddy. <laughs> the other, these here I have are, oh, I have four of the same brands, I think. But this one is a cross back body marked by Marc Jacobs. Love. Um, I wore the heck out of this when I was feeling wearing cross bodies. But hopefully you can see the detail on that one. Um, bring that a little closer. It has gold hardware. It's leather. I absolutely love it. Uh, it looks like you turn this, but you don't. It's a pull. And it has print on the inside. This one's a Mark by Mark Jacobs. And this is, they're all three Mark by Mark Jacobs. They're not even Mark Jacobs. This one's silver. This is another one that you have to be thoughtful about when you wear it. It's pretty small and another crossbody. Again, like I said. Um, and get a little closer so you can see the hardware. It has black hardware on this one uh, to kind of contrast the silver. But I, I really like this one. And it has like the quilted pattern on it. Pretty, pretty cute, pretty cool. Always makes a statement when I wear it. I haven't worn it that much. Um, the only drawback about this one is that the silver color is fading a little bit where it rubs 
on my body, but um, you can't, it's not affected on the outside. Pretty durable material, I like it. The next one you guys have probably seen me wear quite a bit um, is another Mark by Marc Jacobs and it is black and white. Um, I'll pull this one up a little closer so you can see. Anyway, people have seen me wear this a lot, except I swapped out, uh, when I wore this, I swapped out the strap for a guitar, um, guitar strap. Uh, and I love swapping out the, stra the straps of my handbags to give it a little bit of interest. But this black and white, to me, is everything. It's not your standard, just plain old black bag. And um, so I loved it, and I wore the crap out of it. So this one's in retirement because I'm wearing the backpack. I'm going to move on to Chloe. Um, I have, so for the last, what is it, maybe two years or so, I have been obsessed with the concept of wearing belt bags. And um, I remember mentioning it to um, my friend's daughter, like, oh, I'm looking for the perfect belt bag. And it had been a year into me looking for the perfect belt bag. And um, she's like, uh, do you mean fanny pack? And I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, I guess fanny pack, whatever. But, <laughs> but now in 2018, 2016 through 2018, we're calling it belt bags. So I am obsessed with belt bags and I finally found one that I really love that would be great for festivals and all that stuff in the summer. Um, Chicago comes al alive. It is the best place to be and I'm always on foot um, enjoying festivals, music, um, whatever it is. And this is pretty awesome to have um, sort of around the waist. It's pretty small. You can see um, I have like a 24 waist so you can see kind of the comparison to my waist but um here's the detail up close and it has these um i kind of thought about i love the ring detail because rings are in at the moment um tassels are, all, are also in um i kind of considered not getting it because of this because i don't know if you can hear that kind of makes some noise and i don't want to be like the center of attention but belt bags are hot that's what's up and i'm going to tell you something special about belt bags a little bit later and tassels a little bit later. <laughs> so keep watching. The other um, bag I have, and I think um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this bag as well. I now use this as a travel bag. This used to be my purse for a while. It's pretty big, but this is more of like, like a bowling, bowling ball bag almost. But I bought this about eight years ago and it is it has kept up very well it's pretty big I use it as a travel bag now um, but it's perfect for just kind of an overnight bag but this is um, uh, I don't know what like a raspberry and burnt orange leathers and I absolutely love it it's definitely a statement piece and I love wearing this I get a lot of looks a lot of compliments love this bag Oh, and this is a C by Chloe. Did I say it was C by Chloe? Hope I did. The next one is actually a Chloe bag. So is Chloe considered? Yes. I lied. I have two designer bags. <laughs> so I do have a Chloe bag. This one's also a crossbody, but you can also wear it uh, by, you know, carrying the straps as well. This is like a blue, bluey, blueish gray. Matches my wall. <laughs> But bluish gray, I absolutely love the color of this. I got this in a Black Friday sale, as a matter of fact, on the Magnificent Mile. Um, it was uh, hard fought to get this bag because there was it was during a time that we were protesting in Chicago um, for, we we're always protesting something, <laughs> but we were protesting in Chicago and the protesters had made a blockade around all of the shops um, down on Michigan Avenue. And I and it was raining and it was snowing and all of the above was super cold. And I decided to try to press on through the protesters just to find a bargain. And it was well worth it because I was able to pick up this bag. Um, I'll bring this a little closer. I've had this bag for about four years and I have yet to take even take off the um, little hardware protector here. I don't know if you can see me peeling that, but I still have that on because I figure, you know, when it falls off, it just falls off. So it's not really this d dingy. This is like a plastic that's on here that I just haven't taken off, but it's a very classic bag. I could wear this forever, pass it along. And then it's a, it, it has a strap inside uh, for cross body wear. And that's typically how I wear it because it's such a big bag. I don't want to have to carry it 
like this. So I just kind of wear a cross body and let it hang um, across my body when I do wear it. But I absolutely love this bag. So two designer bags, hey, hey, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, when I first started buying bags, for me, all the craze was um, uh, Kohan. So I have a few Kohans here. I've gotten rid of some over time. Here are a few of the ones that I've kept from the Kohan collection that I started that I have. This one is just a wristlet and it's um, like a peanut butter leather color wristlet. And I absolutely love how this opens, um, but I've worn this to the nightclubs and all that good stuff and gone dancing with this. And I've worn this, I've worn this for everything, but I absolutely love it. It has gold hardware. I'll bring that a little closer so you can see that the detail it has the Kohan symbol there. This one I was obsessed with for the longest. It is a bone colored bag. It's leather also, and it has this um, basket weave, maybe? Um, I don't know. I was obsessed with this one, wore this all the time. The only downside of this one that I have, I love these, uh, the rings, the rings were here. How long have I had this bag? Maybe about seven years, 60, seven years, something like that. But the, the ring detail was probably a little bit ahead of its time, but um, I absolutely loved the style of this. You can also wear this crossbody. It has the hooks and it has, um, it has the, uh, sorry, it has the hooks here and a strap, but I've just never worn it crossbody. It's a bit bigger, so I wore it um, sort of on my shoulder. Only gripe I have about this bag, which I started to say before, is the fact that it is a bone color. So if you're wearing it, whatever you're wearing, the color transfers to the bag. So I constantly, every time I took this bag off, had to clean it to make sure that I didn't get any permanent uh, dye stains. But it, it, perfect bag, very great size. It has the inside here um, with a zip to protect the things that you want to protect. But I absolutely enjoyed this bag and I also loved, and I would wear it on this side so that the, <laughs> so that the name brand would show on the tag. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? But that's how I wore it I, and I still absolutely love this bag. The only thing is that um, the transfer of the dyes from your clothes is what kind of got on my nerves about this and cleaning it all the time. So I didn't wear it, I stopped wearing it because I just got tired of cleaning, cleaning it. But I love it and I keep it in my collection. Bags, accessories, shoes, I keep those forever because those are, you know, it's not, there aren't very many things that, um, there aren't very many things that you can keep forever regardless of, you know, your age, your size, and all that stuff. And handbags, accessories are pretty much the only things that you can keep forever, so I do. The next one is another Kohan bag, similar shape to the other one, except it had, you know, a couple of other details. What's interesting, I keep these stuffed, but it's still squished. I keep them stuffed, I do, and in dust bags, but I don't even know what's going on with them. But this one is awesome too. It, it, uh, I would usually, I wore it like this. Um, this one you cannot wear crossbody, but I love the um, rope handle and the hardware here, the gold hardware. Um, this is the way you would wear it on this side so that the hardware would show. And um, I absolutely love this bag. The only thing is that, um, oh, actually there was no only thing. I love this bag. It has the inside here where you can keep your um, sacred thing zipped. It had, uh, you know, has hand, um, it has slots in here for you to put your phone and stuff. Um, great bag. Um, I probably just got tired of it. <laughs> like we all do. This is why we have so many things in our closets because you just kind of get that fashion ADD. You just can't stick to one thing. And I just probably got tired of this, but isn't, there's nothing wrong with it. And I totally love this bag. When I graduated from Kohan and thought I was doing something, yes, I went to Tory Burch. <laughs> And um, these are in no particular order, but this one is, um, I think it's more of a makeup bag, but I use it as a clutch and as a wristlet, but you can come up closer. It's embossed and I have this strap. There's absolutely no pockets or anything on the inside. Pretty plain bag, but I absolutely love this. This It's navy blue and um, it had just that perfect pop for when you go out and you go dancing. And it's just, you just look fancy with it. But I was just obsessed with it with because of the color of it and the shine and the embossed print. It was super cute. The next one is a simple black Tory Burch 
and again i don't understand why this is so smushed it is stuffed my stuffing got smushed maybe so this one has gold hardware again you wear it uh as a side bag or you can kind of carry it in your hand um the bag itself is not very heavy you know some of them are weighted kind of heavy on their own this isn't that heavy so it's not that bad to carry um not on your shoulder the hardware is gold um, which has a lot of wear i wore this a lot and it has a cool way to open you kind of just squeeze these two together and it pops open and once it pops open it has a zip for added security super cute it had uh has the little tory birch here on the end here i thought i was doing it still has the stuffing in there um i need to restuff re these bags so they're getting smushed and i didn't even notice because they're just like sitting on the shelf and i assume they're still stuffed all nice and puffy uh but i just need to restuff them but this was again one that i wore the crap out of you can't go wrong with a black bag is it's a it's a neutral piece and I wore the crap out of this. But then once I got bored with it and moved on to something else, as usual. <laughs> My third Tory Burch uh, was one that I used more so for a work bag. Um, this one got worn to death. The only reason why I stopped wearing this is because, um, I think I might have told you guys before, I am a uh, sort of a petite frame. And I used to have, carrying this as a work bag with a laptop and notebooks and whatever else you put in there. It gets kind of heavy. And carrying it on one side of my body for years, it um, misaligned my spine. And I had to go through um, almost probably about a year and a half of chiropractic therapy to fix that. So now I have to wear a backpack um, to, for my work items. It's a Tumi leather backpack. Um, I when when the doctor told me that I had to wear a backpack every day I'm like um excuse me who are you talking to you know I cannot do some canvas backpack and so I told my husband about it my dilemma about I was I was mourning the fact that I had to wear a backpack to work every day and he went out and got me a, a very nice leather to me backpack so that I could be fashionable <laughs> and healthy at the same time but this one was also a gift. It was a Christmas gift from my husband. It's the Robinson bag, the one, the coveted Robinson bag. And it is navy blue. I don't know if you can even see that color. So um, this one's navy um, and it's huge. Show it to you in comparison to me. It's a huge bag. Um, so I wore this for work and it kind of, if you guys have issues with your back, you may want to reconsider if you're going to wear this every day. Um, but this is um, an awesome bag. I absolutely love this. It has a, a compartment inside to, stop, uh, to keep your private things private, you know, your secure things secure. And then it has a little buckle here to kind of close everything off at the top. What the only thing I was upset about was that the year after I got this bag, they came out with the next Robinson bag that zipped all the way across the top and i would have preferred some things as you know for work with my laptop being in there to zip all the way across when it rains and etc so um that's the only uh you know thumbs down i have about the bag is the fact that it does not have the zip at the top but love 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 would recommend the robinson bag for sure the next bag is a and i can't believe i just did that i scratched it when i was trying to pick it up so now i have a scratch on here all right anyway so this one is a louis etsy bag um i've never worn this bag and i still you know has the tag on it but it's a i've had this for a long time too this is bad um but it is a red bag i haven't had a red bag in a very long time i remember about 11 years ago i was obsessed with getting a red purse so much so that I started having dreams about having a red purse. I dreamed that I uh, stole one. I dreamed that I found one. I dreamed that I was gifted one and it just would not leave my thoughts. So I finally just picked up any random leather red bag that I could find. I have no idea what happened to that bag. But um, when I went through my collection not too long ago, I realized that I didn't have a red bag. I'm like, as much as you obsessed about that thing 10 years ago, why did you why do you not have a red bag so i went out and got another one so this one's pretty fancy has the chain chain um strap to it um you, you could wear it crossbody 
you could wear it on the shoulder and let me bring it up a little closer to you so it has both suede and leather and it has the um it has an octagon ring instead of just a circle ring but the way you open it is pretty cool too you have to pull down on the ring and it releases the flap and then that's how it looks on the inside but i absolutely love this bag despite the fact that i just friggin scratched it I don't know if you can see that. I'm so pissed at myself for scratching that. But it's an awesome bag. Um, loving it. Which reminds me, I need to wear it. <laughs> Two bags are interesting. <clears throat> this is probably my first nicer um, club bag. It was, you know, this uh, wristlet that I got. It's by Lamb. And Lamb is Gwen Stefani's brand. Um, bring that a little closer so you can see what it looks like. It's leather. It's a very light leather. So some, some, you know, ink may have transferred from my clothes on here. And then, you know, you're sweating and dancing and kind of get stains, but super bad ass with the zipper. I thought I was doing it. The zippers here, the zipper details, super small. So pretty much at the time, all I could fit was my phone in here. Now that phones have gotten bigger since I first got this, I don't even know that I can fit my phone in here. I haven't worn this in so long. So I may have to sell some things. I don't know, stay tuned. I may like get a page, a Poshmark or a Depop site and start selling some things. But this one loved, um, but I haven't worn in so long. So I don't even know if I can still use this appropriately um because of the size this one gets a lot of attention this is the last one i can't remember if i got this from chicago or new orleans i went to new orleans and saw one that was very similar and i can't remember where i bought this but i get a lot of looks comments and attention when i wear this one it's a obviously a clutch but you have this is a knuckle ring or whatever it is on here to keep to hold it it's very convenient and comfortable to hold but also you have added protection if you somebody wants to mess with you boom they get it they get all of it <laughs> so no one ever messes with you the only drawback is that these are actual spikes these are sharp and if you're dancing and not really paying attention and you have this you can scratch other people and i have scratched other people um by mistake with this sorry um but totally cute statement piece i think it's still in vogue to have spikes on your things and then it has a cool way of opening you just bend the spikes back a bit and it opens super cute perfect size it has enough room for your phone lip gloss money id the things that you need when you're going out but this is so so cute so that is the last one again i have like 20 others that i did not bring out um, figured I'd spare you the um, the display of the mundane and the ordinary. Um, but what brings me it this um, now that I'm at the end, it brings me to what I brought you here for. Um, I am excited to announce that I have a hundred followers. <laughs> To some of you, that may not sound like much, but for me, I've been doing this for a little over a month at this point. No, a month and a half. I've been doing this for a month and a half at this point. I didn't know that, I didn't think that anybody but maybe my five best friends would join and, and listen and watch. But I have gotten followers, um, interestingly, from all over the world. I have gotten really awesome feedback and comments from everyone which is totally awesome. It really inspires me to keep going and keep growing. I just want to, like I said, share with you things from my perspective, from you know a little person's perspective, from a brown girl's perspective, from a Chicagoan's perspective, from an ordinary woman's perspective. Um, and I think I've been doing a decent job of it so far. Still need a ton of work. Still have a whole lot of ideas. But thank you so much for um, being a part of this with me, part of this journey, and I am at 100 subscribers. So with that being said, I want to reward you. I want to tell you thank you. So what I'm going to do is do a giveaway. And earlier I mentioned the fact that um, you know I'm so obsessed with belt bags at the moment, and I wanted to. I had a little announcement about belt bags and tassels. That's part of my giveaway. <laughs> so I am giving away a belt bag. It's still in the dust bag here. Um, I'm giving away a belt bag. Um, it is a nice size. It can fit your phone. Um, has the belt strap inside. And you just wear this as a belt bag. Um, very posh, very sleek, neutral black. Super cute. 
that would be yours. I'm also throwing in with this, um, so if you don't want to be so sleek, <laughs> another, a fanny pack, your traditional fanny pack, um, still in the pack here. So it's black and white and you can wear that to festivals or you can give it to your daughter or your niece or you wear it. It's, just, it's really universal. So I'll be giving that away. Um, this is from, and I'll link them below. They actually have an Instagram and a Twitter page. Um, no, the brand is called Fidelity. And then the piece de resistance is the um, tassels I was talking about. These are tassels that you would attach to. You could attach it to the belt bag. You could attach it to a um, wristlet. You could attach it to a handbag if you like. But this is a Kate Spade uh, tassel. It has sparkles at the top and black. The bottom is just like a black leather. So um, this is a Kate Spade tassel that you can attach to um, anything, anything, your keys, um, and all of these will be yours. So how do you get it? One, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, make a comment, let me know that you were here. The other thing is go to my Instagram, which is linked below. Go to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and find the picture with these items on there, like and make a comment. And someone will be selected at random. I will instant message you, direct message you privately on Instagram to get your address and I will mail you these items. So good luck, I hope you get them. <laughs> About this tassel here though, I'm like, I don't know if I wanna give it away. But I'm gonna give it away as a thank you um, for subscribing to my channel, being loyal followers, being my first loyal followers and being so positive and inspirational to me as I go through this journey. So definitely um, go ahead and put in an entry so that you can be considered. It's gonna be picked at random and I will contact you and give it to you. So good luck, hopefully you win. And before I go, what am I gonna say? Please subscribe, <laughs> please subscribe. I, I need your support, I really need your support. Keep me going, get those ideas flowing. Um, subscribe, hit the like button, make a comment, share it. More importantly, share it. Um, hopefully, I think if you are like your friends, they would like the content too. So maybe please, um, you know, let them know about what I'm talking about here and maybe they'll follow me as well or subscribe to me as well. So thank you again, everyone. Happy 100, yeah. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for tuning in and I will see you later. Bye.